What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we're talking about 1992's Batman Returns by Tim Burton, star Michael Keaton as Batman, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, and Danny DeVito as the Penguin. And this movie to me is an all-timer, right? It's just so freaking good. Oh, I love it so much. It's, I like it a little bit more than 1989 Batman. I gave 1989 Batman four stars. I think I'm going to give this one four and a half out of five stars. It's just really, really good. The bat suit looks slightly better, slightly tuned up. Uh, Michael Keaton is still wonderful as the Batman. Bruce Wayne as well. Uh, but Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman outfit is stunning. But her performance, phenomenal. And then I love the they, with Danny DeVito's Penguin, they didn't go gang, more gangster like they did with Colin Farrell's Penguin. They went more Penguin, right? They were like, make this guy like have Penguin hands and waddle like a Penguin, and he's fat and short like a Penguin. You know, like he's cold. He likes cold environments. He's friends with penguins. You know, he's got Penguin army. Like they they leaned into it so hard, and it's goofy, but it's also like. Still a great movie, you know, and you and you really buy it and eat it up. I love that, you know, Danny DeVito looks so terrifying and definitely scared many children back in the early 90s with this. But he also has the, the top hat, you know, the pinstripe pants. He's got the suit, but he's got the umbrella that he can hook up as a helicopter and fly away. Like, Danny DeVito's Penguin's kind of formidable, but also kind of great. This is also kind of a Christmas movie, which is awesome. Uh, a younger Christopher Walken is is like a also kind of main villain, but he's like just a regular dude. But he's you know just a regular asshole from Wall Street type of guy. Um, but you know there's some gifts and stuff from this movie that really cracked me up. Him tossing out presents, um, but the the like I, oh, this great scene where they're dancing and it's Michelle Pfeiffer's uh, what is her name? Oh, Selena Kyle, obviously. Uh, his, her, Selena Kyle, and Bruce Wayne are dancing, and they kind of say this thing to each other. And mistletoe, it would be dangerous if 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 you ate it, it could be deadly. And uh, and and she says this to him while they're dancing. And then Catwoman and Batman are kind of holding each other close, and they say the same thing. And that's when they both understand that they're each other. And he rips off the mask, and he kind of loves Selena Kyle, and it's like. It's pretty great, but in other movies, you don't really get Selena Kyle as the main, one of the main villains, like, even though she's not really the villain, but she's not doing good stuff in this movie necessarily as Catwoman, she's, you know, pretty badass. The Batmobile obviously still looks freaking awesome, love to see that thing pulling up, um, but Michelle Pfeiffer, even when she's not in the Catwoman costume, with the curly hair and just the kind of crazy look in her eyes, I'm kind of in love with it, you know what I mean, like, I'm kind of obsessed, and, and I would have fallen for this bitch so easily back in the early 90s, um, you know, probably would have had posters on the wall and shit, but just any of her little performances where her cleaning herself as Catwoman, and, like, all, all of her little gifts are, are, freaking amazing and the stuff from this movie and her outfit is just so phenomenal her licking batman like a cat but also like a kinky woman you know what i mean like there's some parts where you're like great she's she does like 14 backflips out of a store and then stops and just goes meow and then there's a giant explosion and you're like oh shit <laughs> like okay this this scene's pretty great because she actually got good with the whip and she's like goes around her head like twice and then whoop bang and slaps the head off of a mannequin and then does it again and hits another one and I'm like you know how hard that is to become a good whip person and she did it for this movie and actually did it um there's a part where Oz is taken over with technology and stuff and he's in this like kid sized batmobile and he's like got a thing on front of it and he's like this great gif where he's like he's losing his mind and danny devito is just a psychopath like he's just absolutely losing it but michelle pfeiffer right she uses eight or nine of her lives or no no they have nine lives and throughout the movie you see her oh i've been killed twice i have seven more lives and then she gets shot six times and she's like well that's not enough i still got one more are you gonna finish me off and then they kind of like make it look like she dies and you're not sure and then the movie ends with a very very similar shot from the first movie the first movie ends with batman standing up on a tower looking at the bat symbol and almost as if it's the moon, and this movie, 
it's Catwoman. All of a sudden, she's alive, and you see her little cat ears look up at the bat symbol, and that's the end of the movie. I'm like, oh, man. This could have set up a third movie with Michelle Pfeiffer back as Catwoman, but Michael Keaton never got the chance. He got the two, and then I think they move on to 1995's Batman Forever, which is the next one up in my DC movie rewatch. Thank you guys for the DC videos so far with the Superman views have been pretty good. Um, get the views up on that last Batman 89 video, and let's get some good views on this Batman 1992 Batman Returns video. But shout out Tim Burton, shout out to the vibe of these movies, Danny Elfman's score. It's great, wonderful, wonderful score. Uh, and I've truly enjoyed this movie and i hope you guys enjoyed these videos stay tuned we'll be got more movie reviews coming your way uh comic boston's every monday so stay tuned for that and i will see you beautiful people in the next video peace